Hi, my name is David Pelk. I am a reading interventionist in Michigan, going on my fourth year. Previously, I taught mainly second grade for 16 years. I stumbled upon the science of reading in November of 2019, and I've been working on the easiest ways to implement the science of reading into your classroom. Before I share my list, here's some things that I want you to consider. First, look at the nation's report card. We had, you can see in grade four, we had 35% proficient in reading, and in eighth grade, 34% proficient in reading. To me, this is staggering data, and in my opinion, needs to be recognized. Here you'll see one of my favorite infographics. This is the Ladder of Reading by Nancy Young. She is a specialist in reading, spelling, and writing, and she created this ladder of reading with the help of research and those illustrations to symbolize what's going on currently with reading instruction. Nancy Young is a firm believer in explicit and systematic instruction. If you have not seen her speak um, about her passion of teaching reading effectively, please do so. I will leave a link of my favorite presentation with her. She'll fire you up and she'll get you to rethink and reflect about best reading instruction practices. I'll also share her website, which includes research and resources. This is an interesting parallel to look at here with the nation's report card between 35 and 34%. And then we have 35% of students that are reading are learning how to read relatively easy with broad instruction. So that means they're responding to the tier one instruction and they're learning. Now we have another 5% that's learning to read and it seems effortless. Those are those natural, they come into class and they just, they, it seems like they've learned how to read before they even got you. So that that's 40% right here. So that's just why this is kind of a little interesting to me. Now these other students that are having trouble we have 40 to 50% of students that really need um, and require this code base, explicit and systematic and sequential instruction, that structured, structured literacy approach. And then we have another 10 to 15% that are in that dyslexia category that are learning, then they're learning. They need all this, plus they need more. They need it to be very sequential and diagnostic need to really pinpoint what kind of things they need, and they need many, many repetitions. And one thing that Nancy Young also talks about is these kids here at the top that are doing fine really respond great to that systematic and explicit instruction as well. So um, I will leave a link for that information. It's really, really interesting. So what is the science of reading? Go ahead and read this information. But basically, there has been numerous studies from neuroscientists of the brain and um, to see what's happening with your brain when you're learning how to read and then the best instruction to help the brain learn how to read. There's been brain scans, and MRIs done while kids are struggling to read and also when they're they are learning how to read and you, they can, they've looked at like the sides of the brain that are functioning and the connections that need to be made. And they've learned that learning to read is not natural. Learning to talk is, but there needs to be a connection. And that connection is that speech to print. And that is what science of reading explains. And they explain how it can be done. I'm going to leave a link to this brief introduction of Science of Reading by Stephanie Stoller. It is excellent. It's very quick. And she just, she's a master at making, at um, explaining things with the Science of Reading. So here is my list. Number one on top 10 ways to add Science of Reading to your classroom. Originally, this was like 16 parts, but I've narrowed it down and combined some to make it a little easier. This is a starting point, in my opinion. I'm still fairly new to this as well, but I haven't forgotten what it's like to be in the classroom. So I feel like that's what makes this presentation and the ideas that I'm gonna share a little different. So the first thing that I recommend is 
building teacher knowledge and providing teacher training. There is an incredible amount of information out there. Much of the training can be done on your own. Um, I'm a big believer of teachers being their own researchers. However, I do believe that we can learn a lot from the research. So that means reading that research with your expertise of being in the classroom and teaching and just trying it out and seeing if it works. Um, if you haven't joined the Science of Reading webpage by Donna, there's Donna, the admin of this page. It is great. It's excellent. Um, make sure to go ahead and do that. The Science of Reading, What I Should Have Learned in College Facebook page. Um, she is doing a great job. Um, let me see here. She's doing a great job sharing um, and collaborating information with other teachers all around the world. She also has put together a Science of Reading webpage, and I'll leave a link for that. And her page really helps out with like um, people starting out and learning about the science of reading. There's a lot of things for um, beginning learning. Um, I'll also recommend several podcasts along with some recorded webinars um, and the links as well. Any Anything that I talk about throughout this little short series of videos, I'm gonna try to post all the different links and from those resources. So I recently did the top 10 tools with Deborah Glasser. Um, now this program only costs $25 a month. If you work really, really hard, you could probably finish in two months. It's probably gonna take me three months, but it's an excellent resource to dive a little deeper into the science of reading and all of the most important components that are needed to teach reading effectively. Now there's other programs as well that are very, very useful and um, I've listed them here. I've heard only good things about all these programs. So I think the main thing is finding the right program that will implement um, your curriculum. I think that's gonna be very important. So I'll include those links in the descriptions in the video. You can see that Deborah Glasser has um, done a nice job with organizing this page with all these things. So she goes through knowledge, oral, knowledge, oral language, goes through all these things. So it's very, very great. And um, I hope that you find this useful.